What's going on, YouTube and all my Forex traders out there? Corey Smith here with CoreFX bringing you another weekly technical talk. Today is Friday, August 3rd, 2018. Um, for any of you guys that are new to these videos, what I do here is I go over a breakdown of all the technical analysis charts in the foreign exchange markets. I go over each one of the index for each of the major currency pairs, as well as the US dollar major crosses. Uh, I also go into my personal watch list I've developed for the following week coming ahead. Next week is going to be for August 5th week, and this is going to be a video analyzing what happened this past week, as well as what I have going on in my plan for next week. We had a pretty loaded week this week with news events. It wasn't the most price action as we are in the summer months. There is a lull in trading in the summer months, slow down bankers and traders and a lot of people on vacation, kids out of school, people traveling. Um, really a slowdown seasonality across the board, especially in the financial markets throughout the summer. So... Um, Waiting for this summer to end, I'm excited to get to the uh, fall months. We are in earnings season, so a little bit of volatility in the stock markets, but Forex has been pretty damp. Uh, we're going to see this week coming up if we can get some stronger moves. But um, all my returning viewers, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos. I hope you enjoy what you see. I'm going to go ahead and dive into the charts now, guys. Check me out on Instagram at core.fx. Called out three winning trades this week, which is a pretty good week. Um, also, check out the rest of the videos on this YouTube page for some more free content and my website, corefxtrading.com, if you want to learn how to trade like I do. All right, thank you guys. I really appreciate taking time to watch these videos, and I will catch you on the inside in the charts. Alrighty, so starting with the US dollar here on the Dixie chart, we this today is Friday, again, August 3rd. So this is uh, NFP Friday, the first Friday of the month, jobs report data out of the US. The data was pretty much on par with expectations, so was a relatively uneventful NFP. As you can see here, the dollar is still trading uh, underneath this strong resistance here at around 95.50. You can say this 95 to 95.50 range is a strong zone that's been holding, and um, it continues to hold here. As you can see, NFP wasn't able to push the dollar higher. The dollar is selling off off of there. Um, so really mixed with the dollar still. Nothing's really changed. We've just been range bound. Um, you can see here, this resistance is holding as well as 94 support is holding. We are getting tighter highs. So um, hoping that we can, uh, you know, eventually break out of this resistance. It looks like this uptrend is putting pressure, bouncing off the 50 SMA, moving higher. So we could be potentially um, breaking out of this resistance soon. But, you know, until then, we got to wait for it. This lower trend line is definitely what I'll be using. But, um, yeah, that's what we're waiting for. That takes us on to the euro. This is the index for the euro dollar. Um, just the euro, but it's it's pinned against the basket of currencies, mainly the dollar. So we can see here, after the strong bearish move, we've been in this descending triangle. It's still in the triangle that we went over from last week. It is at the support now at 111. So we did hit support. Price opened on support and bounced temporarily. We are seeing a bounce here. Now what we need to watch and see is if price is able to break this support. A couple ways you can play it. If it breaks below here, you could have a sell stop order, maybe if you're trading euro specifically or euro pairs, or you could wait for it to break out, pull back, retest, and then catch the next move down. Um, just different ways you can play breakouts like this, but this is a bearish descending triangle pattern. It's a bearish trend continuation pattern, and it's what we like to see as technical analysts, and we want to see if this is able to push below this base, below this support, and continue to the downside. Japanese yen, um, kind of doing what we had anticipated you know we broke and set a lower low here pulled back to retest lower high we called or i called for last weekend to see this continue now to retest at least this lower low we did open the week and start to move lower but we have pulled back since there's been um number of things going on in the markets causing some more of this risk on uh moves where we get the yen strengthening you know we have more talks of tariffs china countering the u.s tariffs with another 60 billion dollars in tariffed goods more scare, trade war scares and things of that nature. So um, the yen has been a little bit fluctuating this week, has a little bit choppy, but uh, I do still think if this 86.50 resistance holds that we can see this move to the downside. We still have nice moving average placement, 20 below 50, below 200, both sloping downwards, nice spacing between them. Um, so I do think we will see yen continue weaker, but right now it has rallied to close the gap from these gains that we saw earlier in the week. British pound is doing as we anticipated last week. So we had last week, this lower low was made, then we pulled back to this lower high, and we figured we could come back down to 126 level here on support and retest this lower high. 
I mean this lower low and that's pretty much what we did this week we stayed in a tight range and then the past two days we have sold off it's bouncing now off this support so this area is now going to be what we're going to want to watch to see if price breaks this 126 but all in all this downtrend has been continuing on the pound Canadian dollars just been trickling higher we saw this lower low pull back to set a um, lower high went back down we thought it could retest and set a new lower low but has just been slowly rising since you can see the 20s now about to cross the 50 SMA this is a bearish crossover I mean a bullish crossover out of a bearish trend we've broken this trend line broken above the 50 SMA and price is moving higher so um, with the CAD we could be reversing trends here and saying that we want to be buying the dips now so when the CAD pulls back to maybe 7550 we want to look to be going long and so forth but um, it's still early on you know this is still the newly forming break of structure and trend so it's not something that we want to just run for. It's not a strong trend we want to try to catch. It's the early part of a trend that we want to be ready to catch it once it starts going. Swiss franc, another one that was in a similar pattern as the euro. We've been really just seeing a lot of tight consolidation in this whole zone here, right? So as being trend traders, we always talk about how this is the kind of moves we want to be trading, right? We want to be trading when markets look like this. But when markets look like this, you know, there are still setups with the Swiss franc and you can still catch trades, but it's really not ideal as a trader, especially when you're a trend trader, to be trading markets like that. That being said, this looks like it could be reversing out of the trend. We do have a double bottom here and price looks like it could be reversing up. It's starting to break this trend line. It broke above the 50 SMA, but then did come back down. Um, all in all, though, we are still seeing this start to roll over. And if you look close enough in here, you can somewhat see... A little bit of a head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders pattern here for me, right? So you might have to drop it down a time frame to really get a better eye on it. But as you can see, you know, we are, it's not loading properly. We are starting to see a little bit of a, you know, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. We could be watching for a break of this area in here as a neckline, All right? So this could be reversing. I do still think there potentially could be a bearish move to the downside, but we did temporarily break this trend line and we'll see what the Swiss franc does. No clear direction, but... Um, it could be rolling over. Aussie still still really in this uh, bear flag pattern. We did temporarily break out and pulled back now. Could be just a retest and it could roll over. I do still like weakness in the Aussie. I do still think we're going to continue lower. We're on strong support here, so price has taken a while to break it. But I think we will eventually, maybe this 50 moving average will catch up. We'll bounce off that and shoot lower. Um, come down 73 is my first projected target but then i do think we'll be able to break that and if we do we could move all the way down to 72 down here so this is definitely a pair i want to be watching for shorts and um so far it's starting to test this this uh breakout area all righty then real quick i'm going to go over to the new zealand dollar currency chart and as you guys can see we have been tracking this to the downside on the weekly you can see we are still in this low basing pattern but switching it over to the daily time frame on these Finviz future charts, you can see this basing pattern much better, right? So we're in a bear flag. We've got a sideways, a little bit of a tilted rectangle right here. So we're still trading above this 67 support now. We broke the 66, which was the really strong weekly level. We're now found the support here on 67. And what we want to do now is just watch to catch that next break to the downside. I do still see bearishness in the New Zealand dollar. And if you could draw a trend line here connecting this peak, this peak, this peak, you'd see we have a trend line going down here as well. So I do think that this New Zealand dollar is ready to break out. We just have to be anticipating it and ready to react when it does. Alrighty, now I'm going to switch us over to the US dollar cross pairs. Euro dollar, we finally got some nice price action this week. We finally see this breaking out of this pennant pattern we're in, right? So we started to look like we were gonna roll over. We got the 20 cross above the 50. Things were starting to cup around like we could be breaking out to the upside, but then we got yesterday and into today, price has moved lower. We're all still on this strong weekly level with this blue line and gray box here, but um, price did break out of this pennant pattern. So I do see potential for the euro to fall lower. As you can see, price is a little extended right now after this strong move, so I would like to see price rally a little bit. We could even throw a Fibonacci on this last swing move. We've got the swing high down to the swing low. And we're looking right around the 382 level here. So you got prior structure looking left. Nice breakout. Pull back to retest. Moving averages will catch up a little bit. And then get that next move to the downside off of a retracement. And I think that would be the nice move to play for the euro dollar this week. Pound dollar. Still moving lower. 
pulled back to set a lower high. Yesterday sold off lower. We saw a strong dollar coming down here to retest this little support on 130. Um, watch for a double bottom pattern here. You know, if, if we're looking for a reversal, if we think price is going to hold. But <clears throat> this support breaking is a nice indicator of trend continuing to the downside. So we do want to be watching for the trend continuation above all. But I would be watching for divergence and things of that nature with this double bottom forming here on pound dollar. Dollar CAD. We are seeing this trend reversing. So the intermediate trend line here did break with a strong bearish momentum. And we kind of chopped around here and we're seeing some strength again to the downside here. You can see the 20s crossing the 50 SMA. We did break through the 50 SMA as well. We broke this structure here, which was our higher high, higher low. We did come down and break that higher low structure. This is a new lower low. We're now retesting this trend line and it looks like this trend is reversing. So this is another pair where we could be looking for some sort of a pull back now, maybe up to here, and then break to the downside to the next target um, for that next lower low push. But dollar cad has reversed its trend here now, and we're getting this bearish moving average crossover out of the 20 and 50 SMAs. Dollar yen, um, so we have broken some, some iffy trend line and started to see some bullishness. This bullish engulfing candle made it look like we could make a run back up to 113, but we did actually reverse that. Um, we're still trading above 111, this strong support zone here. I've, I've labeled here with the red daily support as well as this gray box. You can see we are above that strong support. So above 111 for now, I'm still remaining bullish. But all in all, this could be reversing trend. You know, we did have a lower high after setting this higher high. So price could now break this trend line, break this support, break the 50 SMA and set a new lower low reversing this dollar trend, this dollar pound trend. Dollar Swiss franc. Um, nothing too, you know, crazy going on. We do have potentially a head and shoulders forming here. You know, we got a left shoulder. We got a head. We got what could be a right shoulder if we get this trend reversing here. But um, again, we're still above this 99 support level here and below this one parity dollar level here. Um, so nothing, again, these are the kind of charts that we don't want to be chasing. We're just consolidating. And uh, you guys saw that in the Swiss franc as well. As you can see, all in this area, we're just not setting higher highs, higher lows, lower lows, lower highs. We're just kind of basing around. So we want to wait for this to give us a little bit of a change of pace, whether we break to the upside or we break this trend line, 50 SMA reverse um, and catch a pullback there. We really just want to be looking for some kind of change in price action to give us more of a strong trending move. Aussie dollar in this low base still above the 73.50 weekly support. So we, again, another pair we're just chopping around. I do see much more potential for bearishness out of this pair than anything else. Uh, obviously this could reverse trend and break out of that. But from technical analysis um, viewpoints, this is in a purely bearish moment of time. We've been setting lower lows and lower highs, 20s below the 50s below the 200 SMA. We're in a low base rectangle pattern here, right? Could be a little bit of a flag as well. In a low basing pattern above support. So what you look for here is a break of support to continue this move to the downside. This trend line and 50 SMA is closing in on price and we are seeing a little bit of a consolidation push to the downside. So we wanna to wait to see the support break and try to look for short opportunities in Aussie dollar. New Zealand dollars, same situation. Uh, nice little counter trend line break trade call in here, right? So when price was pinned underneath this resistance, again, we had this counter trend line here waiting for a short, caught a nice short off of this year. But, um, all in all, we're in a similar situation, nice downtrend. We are in a low basing pattern, right? Another bear rectangle above support. We are underneath now this strong weekly level. As you can see with this blue line, I have it labeled here as well. Very strong weekly level. So until price breaks that, I wouldn't consider the trend reversed. And until price breaks support, I wouldn't be looking for long uh, shorts to join the continuation of the trend. But this is definitely a nice pair to be watching in a nice strong downtrend. Um, and we are in a basing pattern within that downtrend. So probability is that the trend will continue. All right, that does it with the US dollar crosses. Moving on to my watch list now, starting with New Zealand yen. Another one similar to the dollar. Um, we have been in a nice downtrend in a channel. We did kind of test the trend breaking when we came above these uh, SMAs and all here. It looked like we had some bearish bullish momentum, but you can see this trend line kept us in line. We bounced lower and now I'm struggling to break this support, but we had three days in a row of bearishness. So this is some momentum coming here. I think we might be able to break this 75 level next week. And if we do, that could give us a nice target down to around 74.50 to 74 range. Good 50, 75, 100 pips to be made out of this pair here. 
Euro Yen. Um, this one I just have on here because this was a trade we caught this week. Came down, bounced off of this support. This was on my Instagram page. Bounced off this support here. Nice bullish engulfing. Broke the counter trend line, taking it to a smaller time frame. You can see. Broke the counter trend line and did hit our target one. Um, it didn't make its way up to T2, but this was still a winning trade. Enough profits taken off the table to have made money off of it. And now price has sold off and is actually breaking support. So we are now breaking this uptrend. We've broken the trend line, broken 50 SMA, broken structure, broken support. So um, the next move with this pair could be wait for a nice pullback and potentially short it off here. I'm going to wait for more bearishness to confirm that. I want price to move down a little longer, maybe to here. Then it comes up. Then from there, we catch it to the downside. But again, this was just showing a nice trade we caught this week on this pair here. Swiss franc, Japanese yen. Um, we were in a nice uptrend here. Broke out of this inverse head and shoulders pattern, but 200 SMA and resistance held us off. Bounced up again, rejected again. We got a little bit of a double top here on the 200 SMA, but I do think there might be enough strong bullishness. You know, we're still in this uptrend, still respecting the 50 SMA, still respecting the trend line, still respecting structure, set a higher high, pull back for a higher low, retested the higher high. So really we're good down to around 111.50 to then make another push, but I would like to see price break above this 113 level and then pull back, catch the next long off of that. But this is definitely something I'll be watching later on in the week next week. Pound Aussie finally broke lower out of this basing pattern here. So we're, we pushed lower to the 176 level here and actually broke through that. What I'll be waiting for for this pair is price to pull back, come back up to retest this uh, 176.50 range up here. Maybe comes up to this trend line depending on how long it takes to get back up here. Retest this resistance, then look for a shorting opportunity to continue this pair to the downside with a uh, pound Aussie short. Pound Swiss franc. Another one still continuing to the downside. You can see we broke this support level. It's coming down to the 129 support level now down here. Maybe we get a bounce up to 130. I like this 130 resistance. Maybe we can catch a trade short off of that pullback. A lot of pullbacks we're waiting for this week in the markets, guys. We had some pretty decent moves the past few days. So um, any trades we are watching, we're going to be looking for pullbacks on. I'm not watching that pair. Pound CAD, another one. We had a nice strong break below support here. We are coming up to a nice strong supply level, but price might not make it there before we pull back. I'm going to wait for us to pull back. Then when we pull back to 171 or in this area somewhere, look for that counter trend line break move. Look for that pullback to show us confirmation that it's going to roll over and potentially continue to the next lower leg. So that's what I'll be watching for with the Pound CAD. Euro New Zealand, we're still in this uh, bullish flag pattern, bullish wedge. Um, however you want to call it, pennant, wedge, flag. Um, it's a bullish con continuation pattern, consolidation pattern. So we are watching, and this is what we were watching for, um, you know, a break of this upward trend line. Breakout, we want more of a breakout than this. You know, this broke out and pulled right back immediately. This could come down and break support right here and just fall off. We've got the 200 SMA there as well, so it's a very strong support level. Um, but we'll be watching for confirmation if we're able to come up and break above this trend line Then we have a good chance of price moving up to 173.50 to retest this prior high here on this pair Euro CAD another one that's reverse trend in a strong move downward four back-to-back -back strong bearish momentum days I think we're gonna see some profit taking some correction here 20 is about to cross the 50 20 just crossed the 200 you can see this trend is trade is sw switched around nicely. We're coming into a nice strong resist. I mean support zone here. It's also a nice supply zone, as you can see, um, off of this strong move here. So price is hitting this. I'm expecting it to bounce. It might not fully pull back up to here. You know we got another nice resistance level down in here also. So there's a number of different locations price could pull back to here. But I am waiting for a bounce on this pair to try to catch the next move to the downside. Aussie CAD, another nice trending pair now. Um, this was structure we were in. We set a higher high, higher low in this uptrend. Failed to break the higher high, reversed, set a lower low, set a lower high. Have now set another lower low. So we're going to look for this pullback to come back up. This um, lower high to be made. Try to tap this trend line here. We could even throw Fibonacci here from this prior swing high to swing low. And you can see this 382 would be a nice little zone to try to catch this pullback on. Lining up confluence with support resistance zone here in the gray box and this moving average. I mean this uh, downward trend line right here in this red daily chart. New Zealand CAD, another one similar setup to what we were just looking at. Um, price reverse trend with this strong bearish week. 
and we've kind of consolidated here. We set a lower high, consolidated, and now broke out lower, setting another lower low. As you can see, price on this Friday is already rejecting, already starting to pull back. So I think we'll get a pullback up to this 382 resistance um, Fibonacci level. Also broken structure, retested support now as resistance. Um, definitely looking to see something there in that area to try to catch this short to the downside. And then finally, we have New Zealand Swiss franc. Another trade that we took here, dropping it down, you can see this bear wedge that we broke out of. Nice breakdown to the downside. It did pull back up um, in the earlier session today, but I think we still have enough strength to continue this move to the downside. You know, we had this very strong bearish candle here. A lot of times after bearish engulfing or strong bear candle, bull candle like that, you'll get a little bit of a retrace of the candle before it continues to the downside. So our target down here is at around 666. Uh, not the best number, but that's around our target at this prior lower low. So you could look for shorting opportunities on the way down, but that's the trade we are in here for this pair to the downside. All right, S&P 500 real quick. U.S. stock market, as you can see, is still doing well. This week was a little bit mixed, but yesterday we had a nice bullish day. We've had some good, strong earnings coming out of some companies. Um, Apple just hit $1 trillion company valuation, so we're seeing some good things in the stock market still. This should continue. We have had some tariff scares and some trade war scares, but I think that overall the U.S. economy and stock market is still strong enough to continue higher. So uh, we'll be watching for that moving to the upside. And then real quick, gold and oil for you guys. Gold, as you can see here, is just continuing to fall off. You know, we haven't had much of a retracement at all. So I think we might see some point a pullback, maybe around this 118 level. Um, but gold has just been trickling lower. As soon as it broke this trend line here, I called that with you guys. I told you guys to be watching for gold short. And as it continued, I just said to keep trying to sell those pullbacks if you're a gold trader. And if you did that, you sold this pullback, you made a lot of money. Sold this pullback, you're in a lot of money. So um, just continue to ride that wave. And then as soon as it uh, shows that it's reversing, then you get out. And then we got our oil chart here. Price is still trading in this little range here. We're still below $70 a barrel, above $68 a barrel in this range. Um, we could be reversing trend here, but I would still be looking for a long. A break above 70 would be a great opportunity to try to ride this wave back up to $74. All right, that does it, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. I hope you get something out of them. Um, I hope this gets you ready for the trading week next week. It gets you... A little bit of help narrowing down what you're going to be watching and what pairs are trending, what pairs you want to be in, which pairs you want to be away from. Uh, this is just my personal watch list. I try to cover all the dollar crosses and the indexes to give everybody a view of all the markets in general. But then I go over my personal watch list and the trending pairs that I'm narrowing down to be looking at specifically. I hope this helped you guys out. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos and I'll catch you in the next one.